Hey, welcome back. You may have a requirement to control a user's ability to upload data to a cloud SaaS app. Maybe it's Google Workspace or Office 365 or Salesforce or Dropbox or whatever. And so that requirement might be to block that user's ability to upload malware to that line of business app. Or maybe if they try to upload sensitive data, ensure it's properly tagged and classified. And so I wanna show you how to do this using my favorite product, Microsoft Cloud App Security, and a feature in it called Conditional Access App Control, or Session Control. So let's take a quick look. Okay, so I have Google Workspace added as an enterprise app in Azure Active Directory with single sign-on setup. We're gonna use that for this scenario example. I then have a Conditional Access policy configured for the enterprise app. I have it scoped to a single user, uh, scoped to that enterprise app with no condition set. It's going to grant access, and then the session uh, section here is gonna use a custom policy, that's key. I'm gonna turn it on. At that point, my conditional access app control tab here in Microsoft Cloud App Security is good to go. Google Workspace is connected because I've already logged in with it. And then I'm gonna click on policies over on the left here, and I'm gonna create a new conditional access policy called a session policy. And I'm going to uh, show you the one that I've already done. So this one is going to block uploads. So control file upload with inspection under such control type. My filters are set to app equals Google Cloud. I've had other apps, I can choose those here, like say Office 365 or whatever else. And then I can select some file filters. So in my, ca my case, the way I have this set up is inspection method is set to data classification service and it's gonna use my sense of information type called Project Falcon, which this policy says, anytime you try to upload a file, if it contains keywords to Project Falcon, that sense of information type, it's then going to see, well, does that file have a sensitivity label on it? And if it does not have a sensitivity label on it, then block the upload and present back a custom message letting me know that I first must classify and label that file before I can upload it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test this. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive here and I'm just going to right click, upload file. I've got a file on my desktop that is Project Falcon and it contains the keywords Project Falcon. And when I try to upload it, watch what happens. Boom, stopped my tracks. The file has been uploaded, but it's been blocked when it tried to be uploaded, and this file contains sensitive information, blah, 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 blah. So it worked. Now if we come back to MCAS for a moment, I have another policy that I want to show you. This one I've created a block malware upon upload policy. And so the session control type is control file upload. Activity source is app equals Google Cloud. Uh, no file filters, but my inspection method this time is going to be malware detection. And I'm going to block and tell it that the file contains malware cannot be uploaded as my custom block message. So if a user tries to upload malware, it will be blocked. All right, so let's try to upload a piece of malware. All right, so we're gonna right click, upload file, and on my downloads folder, I have a test EI car file that allows me to simulate malware. I'm gonna to try to upload it, boom, look at that. Upload blocked, stopped my tracks. File contains malware and cannot be uploaded. All right, so now if we go back to Cloud App Security and we go to alerts, I should start to see some alerts here come up for this. And you can see some other tests I was doing. Block malware upload and block uploads to Google Workspace. If I cl click on one of these alerts here, it's going to give me some more information about what was happening. Now, if I come over here to the sunglasses and click on activity log, and then change my filters here to Google Cloud, this will show me that, okay, Matt, or Matt logged in or Megan, my test user, logged in. Um, they tried to upload a file, and the file was this EI car file with some other telemetry around it. And when it was uploaded, it was indeed blocked. And then look at that, potential malware detected. And then if I come down here, here's where they tried to upload another file called Project Falcon, and it matched my policy along with some other telemetry, and I could see that the file was blocked. So pretty cool. If I'm using a third-party identity provider to provide single sign-on, 
then I can just come over here in MCAS and click on the sunglasses, go to connected apps, and then under connected apps, click on conditional access app control, then click on the blue plus sign here to run through the wizard to add this capability with my third party IDP. So if I'm not using Azure Active Directory, I would use this method. Well, as you can see, there's not much to configuring this. Just make sure you get those filters correct. And that's where you need to figure out what are you trying to do? Why are you trying to do it? And that will help you build in the requirement to then configure these policies correctly. This capability is really, really powerful. And I can think of several other use cases as well to help meet regulatory compliance requirements and just basic standard cybersecurity requirements. So I'll leave a link in the video description to the documentation for additional reading and learning on this. And I would love to hear from you. What are some scenarios you could see this solving for? Put them in the comments down below in the video. All right, folks, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Whoa, hold on a second, don't leave yet. If you found value in this video, click on like because it really helps me out. And if you wanna see more videos, click on subscribe because I have new content being released on a daily basis across security compliance from Azure to Microsoft 365 and much more.